hi guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by very tiny subscriber thank you for coming back and if you're a new subscriber you are welcome thank you for clicking on this video my name is Ade Doin, and you know in this video i'm going to be sharing with you the latest news the latest gist okay even though the gist is not an exciting one because it involves another crashed marriage okay you know a couple who have signed for better for worse have now decided to go their separate ways okay but you know we just need to talk about it so we can learn one or two things from what happened to them and also what is happening to marriages in recent time okay so guys if you're interested in watching sit back relax and enjoy okay So a few months ago, people speculated that something is going wrong between Funke Akindele and JJ Skills, okay? But the couple decided to prove everybody wrong as they were seen together on the night of AMVCA Award, okay? And, you know, they went outside together to go and receive Funke Akindele's award, okay? So people now stopped, you know, speculating and we all believed everything is going on smoothly between the two of them but this morning DJ Skills announced on his Instagram page that Funke Akindele and himself are now separated and I'm going to read what he wrote for you guys okay so he said dear friends and family I need to let you know that Funke and I have separated while it lasted we shared a lot of things together and have created two beautiful children the last two years have been extremely difficult for us I know I have tried my best to fix things, but I believe it is beyond repair now. Three months ago, I think there was a typographical error here because he wrote three months ago and at Funke Akindele, maybe hi and Funke Akindele insisted I moved out of the house and apart from AMVCA, I have not been able to get Funke to sit down in an amicable manner to discuss the future of our relationship. I'm making this announcement so, so that the public is clear that we both are pursuing separate lives. We still have issues that need to be addressed, such as the custody and the well-being of our children, which is paramount, as well as, uh, as, well as business interests, which need to be disentangled. But I have no doubt that this will resolve one way or the other, Mr. Abdu Belu. So that was what he posted on his Instagram page this morning. And, you know, this is a confirmation that something is actually going on between the two of them, okay? So one thing I've noticed about celebrities nowadays is that when there is something going on in their lives, when they are having issue, the first place they come to to come and announce is social media. They just go to their page and they are going to announce, okay? Look at Chacha A.K. Fanny. She did the same thing earlier this week. Whereby she announced her separation with her husband, okay? Same thing happened with Justin and Cora Obidi. Then, look at Yol Edochi also. He announced on his page that he has a child outside and he has a second wife, okay? So why is it that these people chose to come to social media to come and announce every bad thing going on in their lives, you know, in their marriage, okay? You know, this marital journey is between two people, adults, okay? If you notice something is going wrong between you two and you are not interested in continuing with your journey, there are better ways to go about it than coming to social media to come and announce thereby giving young people a wrong impression about marriage okay why are they painting you know marriage to young people who are looking up to them or young people who are uh, hoping to get married one day why are they proving to them that you know marriage is no longer working maybe marriage is a bad thing marriage marriage is hard marriage is this marriage is that although marriage is not a bed of roses you know there are some ups and downs in every marital relationship okay but it is not as bad as these people are portraying it it is not as bad i could read some comments by youth are now saying you people are scaring us so you are scaring us who want to get married okay they are trying to uh, paint this whole institution called marriage back they are trying to i don't know they are misrepresenting this institution called marriage okay so i believe if something is going wrong between a man and a woman, find 
another place. There are so many ways you can go about it without coming to social media to come and announce, okay? So I believe there's a better way to settle your problem, even if you want to divorce yourselves. There's a better way to go about it than coming to social media to come and announce it, okay? So what led to Funke Akindele and JJ Skills separation is still unknown, okay? But a popular blogger claimed she has received, you know, the evidence of what actually transpired between the two of them and what led to their separation. So the person said what happened was as a result of, you know, infidelity, misappropriation of fund and ego okay so i don't know who is the victim here i don't know who is misappropriating fund i don't know who has the ego okay i don't know so i'm not going to judge the two of them okay but what i know is jj skills has announced that both of them are now separated okay so the second thing i noticed about all these celebrity is that they live fake live on social media okay so they are going to make everything look perfect their marriage look perfect everything around them look perfect on the gram okay and you know if you are not careful you are going to be using their marriage to pray that oh god give me this kind of marriage this give me this kind of marriage and that is why you should be careful of what you pray for okay especially using people's life people's marriages to pray about your own okay be careful most of them most of them are living a fake life on social media most of them are having a big issue of social media okay look at chacha aka uh fan look at the way she used to post her family making people believe that everything is perfect between herself and the husband not knowing that they are having a big issue of social media okay and even from kakindele posted jjc on father's day just about few uh, two weeks ago okay and you know she sang praises to him you know appreciated him for how he has been a good father being a good whatever okay and even though they are going through a problem they are going through separation she still posted him on father's day okay so that is a kind of fake life the majority of them live a fake life making people to believe that all is well whereby all is not well at all so you guys should be careful when you see things on social media be careful of the things you pray for be careful of the things you wish for okay don't live your life the way they are living their lives okay don't use their lives as a reference to how you are going to live your own life be careful okay so as i've said earlier we have not known the real fact that caused their separation okay and while we are still waiting to hear from funke akindele I don't want to judge. I don't want to say, oh, this is the one that is doing too much or this is the one that is not doing enough, okay? But according to what JJ Skills wrote, is you know, claim, he's trying to claim victim because he said, you know, all his effort to make Funke Akindele, uh, the both of them sit down and talk about their relationship amicably has been proven abortive, okay? So he's trying to claim the victim here, but then I don't want to judge because I don't really know what transpired okay but i'm just saying you know as a young uh maybe young couple or you are a youth you are hoping to get married no marriage is not that bad okay don't uh, base your judgment on what you are seeing happening to all these celebrities marriages on social media marriage is not that bad okay if you decide to make your marriage work it is going to work so it is not that bad don't be scared don't be afraid that this is what marriage is this is marriage is not like that okay and another thing is that don't be carried away when people are showing you too much about their lives, okay? Don't be carried away. Don't think all is perfect. You know, majority of them are living a fake life, okay? So don't be carried away when you see one on social media. And be careful of what you used to pray, okay? Be careful of using people's marriages, people's lives to pray for your own, okay? Be careful. So you won't be praying a kind of bad prayer for yourself. So you have to be careful. So guys, this is where I'll be ending the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.